Well, hello guys, welcome back. So the demons are being really super sweet and loving, and basically Bilal is making Bilal's nest, and I could describe as making a nest. I think Bilal can barely tolerate it. Satan thinks it's really funny, because Satan has a better sense of humor. And, you know, um, they're all making their little demon nest, and they're all comfy, and they're all where they want to be, and Ismonius is still right up next to me, even though from what Bilal has said, and it makes sense. Bilal's slower to answer me, but technically speaking, Bilal should be the one that has me. You know, should be my mentor or should be my patron. But Asmodeus is a lot like the old man. If he wants something, he takes it. He doesn't care if it belongs to anybody else. He is a demon of, you know, what is he the demon of? And when he covets something, he just grabs it. And he treats me well, so Bilal really has no problem with it, though Bilal occasionally reminds him who I should really be studying with and who I should really have as a patron if you're going to see it that way. And so we're going to try to work at working with each other. Bilal was finally like, okay, you keep circling around and you keep coming to this. It's finally time to take the blinders off. Oh, you're going to hate me for this, but here's the truth. And <laughs> he explained some things to me. And I say for me, everybody's spiritual path is different, so I'm not going to go into some of the stuff he said. And I was like, that actually makes sense. And so they're just working on me recovering from any past teachings I had that were very negative and very hateful. <coughs> Catholic Church. And, you know, they're, they're <laughs> getting laughter and cheers back here. They're working on making sure that if I'm making choices, it's not from a fair place. It's not from a, if you wanted to go do X, Y, or Z, are you doing it because you're afraid? Or are you doing it because of love or whatever? Don't act from a place of fear. That's like demonology 101. Don't just grab onto a deity who claims they will do X, Y, and Z. Or they will do A, B, and C to you if you don't grab onto them. <laughs> I think we all know who I'm talking about, but I'm trying to be polite. But, you know, don't, don't do that. Don't serve a god. Don't serve a demon. Don't serve anyone out of fear. Serve them because you love them. And serve's a bad word. They've all indicated that. Work with them. Learn from them. Marry them for all they care. <laughs> but, you know, um, don't work with anyone, serve them, whatever, because you're afraid of them. That's not a fucking healthy relationship. There are some that are pretty fierce and are kind of scary, like Papa Legba is going to fucking terrify me to the end of my days because Papa Legba, he can be a loving, kind, and sweet old man, and he can kick your ass for you, as he feels the occasion warrants. And I, I, they've also been working with me through that you're not really looking at this the right way, because Ogu's been working on me, everyone else has been working at me, and in fact, the demons are giving me a shove towards Aloha. They're saying, you're not trying to pay for your own crimes, or crimes of guilt by association. You're trying to pay for your father's crimes, because he was an absolute rat bastard, is what you're doing, and you don't get to pay for his crimes, he does. So, I just kind of looked at Ogu, because my father was a fucking racist. He thought Hitler was a great guy. And you could not have a black person come on TV, the radio, or anything else his whole entire life without hearing profanity and the absolute worst garbage pour out of his mouth to the point where I still, you know, I try to look at everybody the same way. I can still hear the shit he said when I'm looking, you know, and I don't agree with it, but I can still hear all the harmful, toxic shit he said. His whole family were cracker racist, so I can hear what they would have said too. Which is probably why my ancestors won't work with me, because I'm not a cracker racist. I thought, ooh. And, you know, I'm like my mother. My mother was the only non-racist person in the family. My other grandmother, she was a terrible fucking human being, but she was at least halfway neutral. And, you know... It's just, they're like, you can't pay for those sins. You can't pay for the fact that your family was utter fucking shit. You can just be a better human being. And if these Loa are claiming you as family, who cares if you have black parents and you're a little white girl? The gods work in mysterious way. So I just have to get over that. And I've been watching a lot of liberal and atheist comedians to get over that. And it's like, yeah, you know, it's, 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 it's true what one of the comedians said that. 
you know, if white people go around self-flagellating, then you put the burden on black people to make you feel better, which is the last thing they need in 2020. And, you know, I was going to make a much more fiery video, but Bilal called me down. <laughs> um, he's actually good for that. And I can accept now he was my teacher and he was the one showing up as Jesus because I don't believe in Jesus' divinity. There's just too much evidence against it. Now, most people will take that and go become an atheist, but I've experienced my gods and I have faith in them. I just don't think they do what people think God should do. Most human understanding of gods is that if you really exist, you'll do everything I want, you'll think how I want, you'll give me everything I want. They can't do that, or they won't do it. Take your choice, but it's either can't or won't, because everybody would have everything. Do you know how out of kilter this planet would be if we all had everything we wanted? Because we would never stop seeing, and we'd never stop wanting. Asmodeus is the one that works with um, curing you from that, too. Like, he is a demon of excess and lust and lechery and gambling and luxury and all this other stuff. But if you're going too fucking far, he's the one that will kick your ass. And the more and more I'm seeing any of these Christians go crazy, I'm like, they're going to use some demons because demons will knock some discipline in you. They won't be harsh if they don't have to, but they will also occasionally kick your ass as the boot on Loa will. Um, and it's just a thing of they're, they're restructuring the family and they're getting stuff out and you can say stuff to the demons that you couldn't say to anyone else because they'll hear you out on it about how it's really funny how God's really selective with these miracles, isn't it? Everybody that died of coronavirus didn't deserve a miracle apparently and it's like, you know, they're fine with that. They're like, hmm, it's almost like he's not all powerful and his people live for thousands of years. And, you know, Bilal has utter contempt for it. But Bilal has utter contempt for a lot of things, because what's his job? He's often known as the one who comes and picks up the people who have no one else. It probably technically should be Pazuzu, because Pazuzu is indeed a real demon, but when it comes to aggressiveness, even though he's the demon that kicked every other demon's ass in this paradigm for whatever reason, he is drifted into the far background. Bilal feels that I am truly his because he feels he's the one to pick me up. But Asmodeus is like, nope, I grabbed this one. She's mine. So, so, you know, at least I have a family, you know, fighting over me and fighting over who gets to keep me. And they're comfortable being seen as demons. You don't have to take the Judeo-Christian approach to them. But they're also comfortable with that, too. They're like, just because, you know, a god is strong enough to create angels doesn't mean he's strong enough to keep control clearly he isn't or there wouldn't be fallen angels and it's like wait if angels don't have free will um how did they choose to come down and help us because they saw us suffering because that's why is as though is hated because he saw humans wallowing in ignorance and he was like this is fucking sad um same thing for satan same thing for lucifer you know in, in everybody debates their backstories and i i don't think we need to but they took pity on us man they they saw what kind of god people were serving and they kept taking pity and they keep trying to intercede and they still try to intercede today anything that's fun probably some demon or god somewhere other than god came up with it um, and they're okay with the sarcastic air quotes now because I, I figured out who God was. Um, yeah, the reason I can never pin it down is because God's a convenient puppet, costume, cosplay, whatever you want to call for any God that needs to speak to you to come through on. It does, I'm not saying their God doesn't exist. I'm just saying that any other God was like, hell old white guy okay um and you know it's very easy to play so there would have been times i would have been addressing Bilal, and there would have been times i would have been addressing the old man and the old man rather fond of that idea and there have been times i was addressing loki or someone else they'll just take the path of least resistance now i don't want christians to extrapolate on that and think oh no i'm actually praying to demons you you might be, but, you know, if you are, it's just because you're not one of his chosen ones. That God is actually pretty fucking picky on who he chooses and who he doesn't. We can ask the evangelicalist, and they'll tell us he hates a lot of people. 
It's funny, he's a god of love, except for when they're people they don't like. So, you know, I go, ooh, Savage Burn. And, you know, I it's just, we've been building the blasphemy board, and atheists and pagans hate all the same things. It's amazing. We think atheists take it a little too far, because... For us, it's like they just fucking lied about how powerful he is. It doesn't mean he doesn't exist. And, you know, I feel sorry for Jesus. Was he a deluded maniac? Did he even exist? Um, I don't know, man. Do you know how many messiahs they had? You know, I'm still surprised that the Vatican approved uh, Jesus Christ Superstar because there were fucking messiahs walking around everywhere. It's going to be the king of the Jews. It's going to be an earthly king. That's why the Jewish people didn't recognize him, because earthly kings don't die on crosses. That's, that's not where they end up. They, the earthly king is supposed to come down and smack the shit out of every enemy they have and get them everything back that they want. But, you know, it's... And I don't hate Jewish people, by the way, before you start firing up your keyboard. I don't care what they believe. I don't care what anybody believes. I don't care what the Christians, Jews, Muslims, whomever believes. It's just, you know, it's a thing of... A lot of these religions are rather odd if you look at them, which is why the first thing I do is I study the lore, and then I throw out the lore and I forget about it. I was talking to one of you about how the hell is it that Odin is an old guy when Eden's apples are supposed to keep everybody internally young and youthful? They just don't work on him? Same thing for Bragi. Um, Probably the best reasoning I saw by an Odinsman was that we equate wisdom with age, and that's why he looks old. Um, he looked young in a lot of the historical stuff that we actually have, because someone my age was old back then. I'm in my 40s, I'd have been fucking old-timer. You just didn't live that long. That a few people did didn't mean it was the norm, but over time he's come to look older and older and older, and he keeps showing me that he can appear however he wants. One eye, two eyes, sometimes to be a sarcastic bastard with no eyes, black beard, I shot off Loki, red, black and white, anything he wants. Any shape, form, gender, color, it's it's the old man. He's a shapeshifter. You have to understand this. And he's utterly delighted because somebody keeps trying to um, crawl into the channel and tell me to throw crosses at him. They have a doubt with the old man, and it's clear. Odin gets what he wants. And if Odin is threatening somebody for something, you know, it's they're having a disagreement. They probably got along at one point in time, or Odin wouldn't resort to threats. Odin usually just grabs what he wants. And if you're having a hard time with him, you can either just give him what he wants, and he'll he'll be satisfied, and he'll back off for a while. Or you, if you're thinking you have to run to Christ to protect you, you have to go back to Christianity and absolutely have nothing with other gods. Because in your mind, if you think that Christ can stop him, you think Christ is the least equal to or stronger than him, right? And you're not going to stop him with a cross. You're not going to stop him with holy water. It's it's like a thing even when I kind of sort of believed in Jesus. I wouldn't even use crosses for him because I'm like, yeah, the one best day of his life, he's going to love this. Um, You know, and I was always like, why do we have crosses of him being, you know, tortured? And the universe kind of gave me an answer because these uh, Christians will put up pins to try to trick atheists into being Christians. And this Christian pin said that if you take away Christ's redemptive death, you take away all Christianity. And I'm like, good one. You just defeated your own religion because I don't believe in sin and I don't believe he died for my sins. Did he exist? I'm not even sure. I'm going to let you have it. I'm going to let you have he existed. But do I think he's his own father to a teenage mother? I, Jesus, man, I don't know. <laughs> I got cheers and hooting from Loki. He's like, I knew you'd eventually do that. Um, So, you know, uh, it, it's funny how atheists and pagans get along. Um, Most of the time we, we think alike. And there are Christian writers that will say that atheists and Christians think alike. It's just, you know, a few carry it to the extreme. I don't care what you believe in or don't believe in. So. If you guys like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.